What is up guys, Dax here, and this is the Reaper X tutorial, and for you guys that don't know what that is, it is a stringy looking rope effect that's really cool, and kind of like goes through text and stuff, and I've been using it because it looks really good and sexy, and yeah, okay, so what you're going to want to do, open Cinema 40. Open your Lightroom, which should be my Lightroom, or if you're using a different one, you can just go die because mine's the best one. And MoGraph, Mo text. Get out your text. You name your text. Should probably name it Dax because I don't know. It's my name. I think. And then you want to get a font because this font is ugly. Uh. Triangle, but no, I'm not gonna use it. It's okay. Uh, no. Okay, we just stop. Okay. So you got your text. Okay. Now. No. Wait. I'm not gonna do it on text. I'm gonna do it on AI. Okay. So you're gonna want to get that AI. Once you have your uh, Lightroom open, you go to File and Merge Objects, and then go and find a good AI you would like to use. And I think I'm going to do Tune AI. Yeah. Uh, what the heck happened to this AI? That is really ugly. <laughs> uh, okay, File, Merge Objects. Um, do dare. No, dark. No, dark. no, devil. No. Uh, phase. You know what's up. Okay. More waste crack. No big deal. Okay. So, you guys probably, if you don't know what to do when you get an AI, then I'm going to teach you. Okay. So, you make it like about that size. Get extrude nerves. And then you're going to want to click the AI and drag it on the extrude nerves. And see, that makes it 3D. And such. I'm just gonna put a. I want to put a like lighter color on it. That way you guys can see it better. Uh, well, we will do shiny green. Oh, not do that. <laughs> uh, lime green. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now, now that you have your logo, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Just gonna show you guys how to use this. Okay. So. Now we're going to want to do is open, we're going to want to get another AI because that is what the Reaper X, it like goes around. So open up a, a phase AI again, you're going to want to size it to about the, you want it to be the exact same size as whatever the logo is you're doing now. And then you're just going to want to have that right over it, okay. Now you're going to want to plugins. Reaper X, and if you don't have Reaper X, I will put a download in the description. It's a free plugin. It's really easy to get. It'll take me like two seconds, but yeah. yeah. Oh, get that up, and then you're gonna make it a child of the phase thing. And if that doesn't work, you're gonna wanna put the phase. Yeah, there we go. Make the phase go on the Reaper X. And yeah, right now, which really really ugly. You're going to want to select the Reaper X. And I'll tell you the truth right now, there's no specific settings. This is just all to your liking, but I'm just teaching you guys like how to get it, you know, set up and stuff. But me, I don't do the radius too big because that just looks really, really ugly when it's too big. You can make it, you can make it kind of like, make it kind of like string around it or if you go to options and rotation. That just makes it like it'll be straight if you go towards the middle. When you go out, it makes it more rotate around it. Okay, and yeah, so we'll do about that. And then you can go to strands and turn the scaling up, turn the scaling down. I usually like having it around 35. And then the rotation that really doesn't do much. The start, if you ever want it to like go behind the text, you can turn the start down and you know, you know what I mean, like that, if you want it to be just on the top, 
turn the start growth all the way down, and then see it's just on the top, which I would do that, but I just want to show you guys how to do this. Okay. Now, now you got that, and when you do get this, I usually, for the material I put on it, I just get a blank material that's in my pack, and then make it about a gray, and then, you know, just put it on it. It looks okay. I'll show you what this looks like so far. It's a it's a really unique effect. Like, there is a lot of people using it right now, but I don't know. If you can make it look really, really unique, you will get a lot of, I don't know, people will like it. Like your background and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't look too good, but you guys get the point. Oh my gosh. Okay. I thought I wasn't recording. I was about to throw my computer out the window. Okay. Now that we have around the text, we have that done. I'm going to teach you guys how to manually make it go where you want. Okay. So we're going to delete that because we're not going to use space. Now we're going to go character. No, no, no. MoGraph, MoText. And then you're going to want to name your text, whatever you want. I want to put the same material on it. What? Why is this yellow and it's called black? Uh, okay. Strange. Um, no, I just, I think Dreadworks is my official tutorial text. It's just it's so good. Okay, we're going to make the horizontal spacing a little bit more in. Okay. Now, this is usually, this is what I do. Instead of just making it go all around the text, I manually do it. So you, you get a, you get the free hand right here. And then you're going to click this little box in the right corner. Click that. And now you have, now you can see, like, what it looks like from above. And the sides and the side, yeah. And so, what we're going to want to be doing is you're going to want to go you're going to want to go to this top right one and you're going to click and just kind of draw it in and through this text right like right about that now the spline yeah it's really low now you're going to click this in this left corner click that box again and it opens up okay now you click that and then you can select these and yeah it's it it is a pain in the butt you have to move it around a lot to move a lot of stuff but see what you can do you click the little the little boxes on these lines and you can move them up and down you can move them around and then yeah first I'm just gonna move all of these up Move this one over a bit. Move this over, cause YOLO. Move it back a little bit. Move this up, move it back. Move this up, move it back. Move this up. Move this up, move this up. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, you're gonna want, you're gonna kinda want it to be coming up from like the ceiling kinda. And when you do this, you will see this little like black thing where you can kinda rotate it and make it look a lot cleaner. And you're gonna wanna make sure you, and if you do have too many of these little boxes, you can just click it and then click delete, and it will delete them. But yeah, this little X thing is the main thing you're going to want to use. Because it, or not the X, but this little black thingy, because it r rotates the spline really well. Okay. Basically, you're just going to want to have it flow through the text. You can have it come out and go around. Um, 
Obviously, this isn't going to be the best because I'm not spending much time on it. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. But, okay. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to delete that one because that one doesn't really need to be either. Let's have this go around the A. Yeah. yeah. Move it up. You just want to have it. You want to make it kind of just like flow and just go up and down and around and yeah. And always get this X and make make the lines kind of curve because if you don't do that, why do I keep calling it an X? Get the little black thing, the little black like teeter totter looking thing. Um, yeah. And so basically, that's what you do with the splines. And then you're going to go plugins. Reaper X, and then drag the spline onto the Reaper X. As you can see, it does that same little effect, makes it all spinning and stuff, and you get the Reaper X, and then you're going to do the most, pretty much the exact same thing as we did before. You just make the settings to your liking, go do what you want to do. Strands, some people like doing only one. I personally think two, three looks best. Like if you, look, if you do like a million, then it just looks really ugly. But yeah, three, three is probably my favorite. And a really cool thing to do is have these coming from like up top and like look like it's holding the text. And so it, people look at it and think it's like hanging from the top. It looks really, it looks really good. Also, that whole start and end thing over at strands. You can do that to make it kind of like not show up behind the text. You can like make it right there. And then that's a start. And then you can go end, make that go like right there. And see now it just looks, I don't know, kind of cool. But you guys get the idea. Just play around with settings. Um, oh. There's that voice crack. I told Moho if my voice ever cracks in a tutorial, I am not cutting it out. So yeah, this this is for Moho. <laughs> oh dang it. Whatever. Yep, that's a tutorial. Um, let me pre-render real quick. Let you guys see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, just mess around with settings. It it's a really good effect. I I really think you guys are gonna like it. Um, yeah, just mess around with it make your background sexy and if you do make a background with from watching my tutorial with this effect please 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 either like if it's a speed art put it as a video response or if it's not just put the link in the comments or just comment and say that you did one on it and link me your portfolio or something because I really really want to check out like if I really if you guys can follow along with me because I'm hoping I'm I mean I, I already know I'm pretty good at this but <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. Reaper X tutorial. Yep. Alright. Peace out.